Hey, Richie from Atlas. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your company and the problems you're solving for your customers? Yes, yeah, I'm Richie Gimmel, the CEO of Atlas Machine and Supply in Louisville, Kentucky. We are uh, an industrial equipment maintenance company and um, we're using Arduino to provide remote monitoring services for air compressors, which is a large part of our business. So what issues were you experiencing that led you to look for a solution? Yeah, so our, our company sells air compressors to manufacturers throughout the kind of Midwest USA. And we, we sell these compressors, they're critical pieces of our customer's production. They can't make their product without these compressors running. Compressed air is like a utility for the factory. And we found that all of these compressors were operating without any centralized insights into their operating functions. And customers had no visibility to how this critical piece of their manufacturing facility was operating. So we used Arduino to provide some visibility into those critical operating parameters. We had the idea of creating some remote visibility for how their air systems are performing to allow maintenance and production management to have deeper insights into what's happening with their equipment from anywhere in the world. And we used Arduino to do that. So what made you explore Arduino in the first place? Yeah, so um, I, I have to thank my uh, oldest son for that. He uh, called me into the living room one day at the house and told me to watch this YouTube video. And there's a YouTuber named Mark Rober um, who was using Arduino to do a lot of cool things. The, the video that we watched was he was making like these glitter bombs for uh, porch pirates that would steal his packages and he got tired of dealing with that. So, um, you know, like any inventor, he had an idea. He applied some technology and, and came up with a solution. Um, we thought it was pretty funny and fun, and we ordered a uh, like a starter kit to make a weather station at our house, and um, kind of got our wheels spinning from there, uh, thinking about how that could work for industry. That's amazing! What a great story! Yeah, yeah, what? pretty cool, right? Like, yeah, just going from idea to invention, applying some passion, you know. For sure, and how did that translate to your customers? Yeah, so after we built the little weather station, um, it became really apparent to me that this could have an industrial application. Um, one of the things I want to make sure people understand is that with Opta in particular, Arduino is not just the prototype, it's the product too. So you have this full path from development to a released product. And uh, you guys have made it so easy to do that. I mean, in less than a year from going uh, to knowing nothing about IoT, we, we've got an established product for our customers. And um, we could probably shorten that honestly now, um, knowing what we know, right? But um, yeah, it's amazing how we were just able to take an idea and convert it into a meaningful product for industry. Mm, that's awesome. But you didn't just use the Opta, right? You involved the cloud. No, no, this little guy, the Opta, um, is kind of where it all starts. Um, we install these on the compressor and use a uh, 4G modem, cellular modem, to um, take data from the compressors and put it into Arduino Cloud. Um, we originally tried using our own kind of home-built AWS-based um, data collection methods and IoT management methods, and um, we, we found that Arduino Cloud was so much easier. It makes it super simple to manage the devices, uh, to onboard them, and then to aggregate the data in the cloud and visualize it for ourselves and the customer. So you would say the ease of use is there for anyone, maybe if they haven't used it in the past. Absolutely, yeah. Ar Arduino is truly IoT for everyone. It makes it so accessible and easy. Uh, we didn't know anything about this before, and with just a little bit of support from you guys, we were able to get a great product out there. So what's next in your Arduino story? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, the possibilities truly are virtually limitless um, for what we can do for industry with Arduino. Some of the things that we're thinking about are um, using machine learning to develop some predictive maintenance uh, capabilities based on the data that we're collecting. Another idea is to use Arduino to control compressors for uh, to optimize energy consumption. And so to be 
good stewards of the climate and also our, our customers' bank accounts. Um, we want to keep their factory running as efficiently as we can. That's great. Well, thank you so much for telling your story about Arduino today and thank you for joining. Yeah, it, it's an absolute pleasure. I'm so happy to be here and um, have really appreciated the time with you guys.